this session on workbook uh, exercise on voices so introduction to voices active and passive voices right see a uh, voice is a form of verb that tells whether a subject is passive or active the definition is pretty easy what is voice voice is a form of verb that tells whether a subject is active or passive if the subject is active then the sentence is said to be in active voice and if the subject is passive then the sentence is in passive voice it is as simple as that you are supposed to identify whether a subject is active or passive if the voice of the sentence if the verb of the sentence tells that subject is active then the sentence is in active voice and if the subject is passive passive means not doing anything then the sentence is in passive voice right so let us look at an example to, uh, to understand this in a better manner i play football i play football so this sentence is an active voice. Why? Let us know. First of all, identify the subject, verb and object. That is very, very essential. Subject, verb, object. Because, you know, most of the times, the sentence structure of any active voice sentence will be so. Subject will be there. Then verb will be there and then an object will be there so here i is the subject because that is a pronoun i has occupied the first position in the sentence so it is a subject moreover it is a pronoun right play is the verb obviously and football is the object again an object comes after the verb and it should be either a noun or pronoun here it is a noun so i play football this sentence becomes an active voice sentence now who is active here in the sentence who plays football obviously i play football the word i right so i is active so the sentence is in active voice and the verb obviously tells who is active so who plays i play i play football so i is active so that is so that is why the sentence is in active voice now come to the second one football is played by me and obviously this sentence is in passive voice why First of all, identify subject, verb and object. So here, football is the subject, right? Because that is in the first position. It's a noun. So, is played is the verb group. We call it verb group because there are more than one verb, right? So, is, is an auxiliary verb and played is a main verb here so there are two verbs so it is called a verb group by is a preposition you know that and me is the object right me is the object here now who is playing football so who is active here let us ask this question who is active here football is played by me so me is active right but me is an object we have to look at the subject so is football doing anything no obviously football is played by me it is not doing anything right so football is not active here once again active is me only i only right so whereas an action is you know uh, football the word 
uh, you know the uh, subject football is not doing anything it has remained passive so this sentence is in passive voice right so understand so in the first sentence the subject i is active it is the doer of the action right it is the doer of the action so the sentence is in active voice whereas in the second sentence subject football is not the doer of action something is acted upon on football right so verb obviously tells that the subject is passive it is not the doer of the action doer of the action is once again me here in the passive voice sentence so the as the subject is passive the sentence is in passive voice so that is how you need to understand a passive voice sentence and an active voice sentence right okay uh, let me uh, switch over to kannada vidyarthigale so ee ondu session alli voices galana artha maadkolo prayatna madana active matte passive voice annu anta adu ide workbook ina exercise alli adu bahala important kuda hodu hagagi ivalna artha maadkolona yenu voice andre it's a form of verb voice andre no ondu kriya padada roopa astu adu yen madutte adu ondu subject active agidya enadru kelsa maartta idya athwa passive agidya yenu kelsa maartta illo adr mele enadru kelsa aagta idya anta soochutte yaru the form of verb so hagagi andre iste voice andre ಅದೊಂದು ಕ್ರಿಯಾಪದದ ರೂಪ ಅದು ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಗಿದೆಯೋ ಅಥವಾ ಪ್ಯಾಸಿವ್ ಆಗಿದೆಯೋ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳುತ್ತಷ್ಟೆ ಸೊ ಇದನ್ನು ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಯಾವ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟು ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೋ ಆ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸನ್ನು ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಯಾವ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟು ಪ್ಯಾಸಿವ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೋ ಅದನ್ನು ಪ್ಯಾಸಿವ್ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಅಷ್ಟೆ ಬಹಳ ಸರಳ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಉದಾಹರಣೆಗಳನ್ನ ನೋಡಿದ್ರೆ ಐ ಪ್ಲೇ ಫುಟ್ಬಾಲ್ ನಾನು ಫುಟ್ಬಾಲ್ ಅನ್ನ ಆಡುತ್ತೇನೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಆಡ್ತಿರೋರು ಯಾರು ನಾನು ನಾನು ಅನ್ನೋ ಪದ ಎಲ್ಲಿದೆ ವಾಕ್ಯದ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಇದೆ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಿರೋದು ಯಾರು ನಾನು ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಆ ಪದ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಡೂಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಆ ವಾಕ್ಯವನ್ನು ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಇನ್ನು ಎರಡನೇ ವಾಕ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ನನ್ನ ಫುಟ್ಬಾಲ್ ನನ್ನಿಂದ ಆಡಲ್ಪಡ್ ಪಡುತ್ತದೆ ಫುಟ್ಬಾಲ್ ನನ್ನಿಂದ ಆಡಲ್ಪಡುತ್ತದೆ ಫುಟ್ಬಾಲ್ ಏನಾದ್ರು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆಯಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲೂ ಆಡಲ್ ಆಡೋದು ಯಾರು ನಾನೇ ನಾನು ಆಡಲ್ಪಡ್ತೀನಿ ಫುಟ್ಬಾಲ್ ಆಡಲ್ಪಡ್ತೀನಿ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಅಂದರೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಒಂದು ಆ್ಯಕ್ಷನ್ ಅದ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ರೈಟ್ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಫುಟ್ಬಾಲ್ ಪ್ಯಾನ್ಸಿವ್ ಆಗಿರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಈ ವಾಕ್ಯವನ್ನು ಪ್ಯಾನ್ಸಿವ್ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಗಮನ ಇಟ್ಕೋಬೇಕಾಗಿರೋದು ಇಷ್ಟೇ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಕ್ರಿಯಾಪದದ ರೂಪ ಅದು ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಗಿದೆಯೋ ಪ್ಯಾಸಿವ್ ಆಗಿದೆಯೋ ಹೇಳುತ್ತೆ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದರೆ ಆ ವಾಕ್ಯವನ್ನು ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಯಾಸಿವ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದರೆ ಆ ವಾಕ್ಯವನ್ನು ಪ್ಯಾಸಿವ್ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಯೂಸೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ಯಾಸಿವ್ ವಾಯ್ಸಸ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಡು ವಿ ಯೂಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸಸ್ ವೈ ಆರ್ ದೇ and let us try to understand these things mind you most of the time we use active voice sentences in our regular conversation it is easy also right so most of the time in our day to day conversations we use active voice sentences rather than passive voice sentences because they are direct in nature and it is very easy to understand active voice sentences there cannot be scope for any confusions in active voice sentences so usually we prefer to use active voice sentences right and it is also advisable to use active voice sentences as i told you because they do not lead 
to any confusions among the listeners. So it is always better we use an active voice sentence in our regular conversations. Right? Then what is the sentence structure of an active voice sentence? As I told you in the previous slide. So the sentence structure of any active voice sentence is usually, not always, it is usually I subject plus verb plus object. Rest of the words may be there, but we need not bother about those things. We need to pay attention to these three very, very important words of an active voice sentence. What are they? Subject. It must be there. Then verb. It also must be there. And object. Sometimes it is also very, very important. But sometimes it may be there, may not be there. I play football, right? So the sentence that we took uh, as an example. So look at this sentence. I is the subject, play is the verb, and football is the object. So there is a subject, there is a verb, and there is an object, right? So this sentence structure meets our requirement of an active voice sentence, right? So it is an active voice sentence. So as I told you, the sentence is very direct in nature. There is it to understand. I play football. Nanu football na ardu tene. A simple present in sentence. Very easy to understand. Right. So this is where we use you know active voice sentence. Right. So usually in our regular conversations we use such sentences. Vidyarthigale. Active voice sentence in the Elbed TV. And the Samana Ginama, the Inandina Matu Katerli, now active voice sentence in a Bed TV. Anu college ge hogutene. Right. So Nanu Tindi Tinutene. Right. So Nanu Kavana on the Baryutene. Nanu Pustaka Utene. Avadu Tindi Marduti Dale. So, either the we will the kuda active eyes so then the name here la but either the walkie girl now birds TV so hangangi e walkie girl now active eyes sentences in the curry TV you go to Sarada Vagirte Arta is Yagi Marco Bohud Abba listener Kedaga Hagaguna now birds on to the soup the kuda hood right. Now, when do we use passive voice? Why are they, in fact, if they are not direct, if they are difficult to understand, why are they in the first place? Right? So, mind you, they do have their own importance. It is not that they are there only to complex things. No, they are there with a purpose. When do we use passive voice sentences? Then, mind you, Passive voice sentences are used when the subject or doer of the action is not of much importance or if it is unknown. Clear? Let me repeat. Passive voice sentences are used when the subject or doer of action is not of much importance or the subject itself is unknown. Andre? Yavaga now passive voice sentences na birds TV and Tandre Yavag birds beku on Tandre Doer of the action no namage promoka agir bardu right doer of the action no promoka agir bardu right okay I love this and mistake there in the subject under the na now, Adana object and the Markoveku and the object are doer of the action and the agent and the Koda Karitivi other uh, important Agir part, right? Uh, sorry, Adana Sari Markoveku and the object are doer of the action is not of much importance, right? And really object to jog the little on the right? Kelsa Mardon Thoru. Yavaga namg important aga dilvo aga now passive voice in a bedestivi. Right. 
ಈಗ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಇದೆ ನೋಡಿ ಲಾಕ್ಡೌನ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಕ್ಲೇರ್ಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಟುಮಾರು ಲಾಕ್ಡೌನ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಕ್ಲೇರ್ಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಟುಮಾರು ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಏನು ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲಿ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲಾಕ್ಡೌನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಬ್ವಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಕ್ಯುಪೈಡ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಕ್ಲೇರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ವರ್ಬ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಆಬ್ವಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ವರ್ಬ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಟುಮಾರು ದೇ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಪ್ರಿಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಟುಮಾರು ಇಸ್ ಎ ನೌನ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಎನ್ ಅಡ್ ವರ್ಬ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋ ಡೂಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ರೈಟ್ so this sentence and it is not important as well right so we do not bother about who declares lockdown so we are only concerned with the thing right so the subject so what is the you know topic of the sentence what is the gist of the sentence lockdown is declared from tomorrow so the declaration may be from you know it may have come from the this deputy collector or the government itself so we don't know and we do not want to know so who declares lockdown so the doer of the action is not important right so the object is not important the agent is not important so only action is important right so in such a sentence we use passive voice vyaktigale passive voice anna yavaga belisbekappa naavu antandre yavaga namge object avatho doer of the action avatho agent namge mukhya aagodilvo antaha vakyagalalli naavu passive voice anna belisthivi modalne vakya nodi naale inda lockdown announce agide lockdown naale inda announce agide ಯಾರಿಂದ ಬೈ ಹೋಮ್ ವಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ಯಾರು ಅನೌನ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಡೂಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಯಾರು ನಮಗೆ ಬೇಕಿಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕೂಡ ಅಲ್ಲ ನಮಗೆ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಏನು ಈ ವಾಕ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾಳೆಯಿಂದ ಲಾಕ್ಡೌನ್ ಆಗಿದೆಯೋ ಇಲ್ವೋ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಬೇಕಿರೋದು ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಈ ವಾಕ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಡೂಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ನಮಗೆ ಅಗತ್ಯ ಇಲ್ದಲೇ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಇದನ್ನ ಪ್ಯಾಸಿವ್ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇಂತಹ ಸಂದರ್ಭಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ಯಾಸಿವ್ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ನಾವು ಬೆಳೆಸ್ತೀವಿ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಹಾಲಿಡೇ ಫಾರ್ ಎ ವೀಕ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಹಾಲಿಡೇ ಫಾರ್ ಎ ವೀಕ್ ಬೈ ಹೋಮ್ ವಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ವಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ನೋ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೊ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ವಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ನೋ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಹಾಲಿಡೇ ಫಾರ್ ಎ ವೀಕ್ ವಿ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಗಿವನ್ ವರ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಸೊ ಹಾಲಿಡೇ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಬಟ್ there is no doer of the action right so there is no doer of the action right so he this sentence once again also meets our requirement so this is a passive voice sentence similarly vegetable vegetables are thrown on the road so here also who has thrown vegetables we don't know but we only know that they are thrown on the road so doer of the action we do not know here also in this sentence so that is why even this sentence is in passive voice in all the, the all the three sentences subject is passive that's why they are called passive voice sentences and with this purpose what is the purpose when the agent our object our doer of action is not important or if it is unknown we use passive voice sentences similarly when we wish to stress on the action rather than the doer of the action so we use passive voice right so when action becomes important rather than the doer of the action a world record was broken today so what is important here is important that a record was broken today by whom we don't know we don't want to know it is not important so but what is important a record is broken right so that is important so here also we do not know who is the doer of action because it is immaterial to know similarly vaccines are invented for covid 19 
who in, who has invented vaccine we don't want to know so there there can be many many agents right so there can be many people who are doing this but what is important vaccines are invented so that is more important right so this is why this is this sentence is also in passive voice and uh, the last usage is passive voice sentences are used for variety of sentences right so sometimes we a reader may get bored by reading only active voice sentences so to bring in a change in the in a paragraph right in a write up so what writers do they use passive voice sentences that is only to bring in a change so that the flow of the reading can be more interesting right so that it is in these cases we use passive voice sentences it is not that they are there to make things difficult they are there with a purpose right so we need to understand this right okay let me stop here uh, uh, and before we wind up uh, let us quickly recap so whatever we try to learn today so when it comes to voices we know that they are forms of verbs they are forms of verbs and what do they do they tell whether a subject is active or passive right so voice galu kriya padada roopa galu avu en maartave ondu subject active agidiyo athwa passive agidiyo anta helutte if the subject is active the sentence is an active voice if the subject is passive the sentence is in passive voice as simple as that and we also you know come to know that in our day to day conversations in our regular conversations we use active voice sentences and passive voice sentences are used when subject when object is not important okay there is one more mistake when object is not important and the doer of the action is not important right when the agent is not important right okay uh, these are voices i uh, hope uh, you have understood voices and the introduction to voices in the coming sessions i'll you know i'll try to tell you how to change sentences from active to passive similarly passive to active right okay thanks for listening